Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. Today, I'm going to take you around the northern city of Prince George, British Columbia. You might be thinking of coming here for school, maybe university, or you might be planning on moving here, relocating. So I'm gonna take you on a quick little drive through this city so you can see what to expect when you arrive in Prince George. As you arrive in Prince George, you'll be greeted to the town's mascot, Mr. PG, who has welcomed people to Prince George for 60 years. So let's have a look on Google Maps where Prince George actually is located. So Prince George is the largest city in Northern British Columbia, Canada. It's considered a Northern town, but it sits around the middle of the province. Prince George sits just a tad higher in latitude than Edmonton, which is about an eight or nine hour drive. Same driving time to Vancouver and about eight hours to the Okanagan. Let's have a close-up view of Prince George on another map. So Prince George sits right where the Nechaco and Fraser Rivers converge. Right there, that's the Nechaco and the Fraser River you can see along the other side there. Prince George Airport is on the east side of the city. Yellowhead Highway and Highway 97 converge just about in the middle of the city, which is really convenient for getting around the city. This is the University of Northern British Columbia on the West Hillside. It's a little neighborhood I'm gonna start out this video in. And we're gonna quickly drive through the city on the main highways. This is the downtown area here. Let's have an actual look at the city. We're starting out in the University Heights neighborhood. This is a really beautiful neighborhood full of brand new houses. As you can see, there's still building houses. You can buy a lot here. You can have a house built for yourself. Uh, there are several houses for sale as well in this neighborhood. This neighborhood has lots of basement suites. So if you are needing a income helper or something like that, this is a great place to live. Um, it, this is where my kids live, my daughter and son-in-law, and, uh, they were able to find a really nice basement suite here until they figure out what they're going to be doing as they've relocated. Carrying on here on Tyner Boulevard, um, we're coming around the corner, two kilometers from that neighborhood we were just at, and the university is right here, University of Northern British Columbia. I have a video coming up on my YouTube channel showing you a little more detail about that that you can check out. As we continue on down Tyner, you can see a view of the entire city from up here. People were constantly walking here, riding their bikes up and down these hills. There are walking trails and cycling trails. I think there's one that's like 30 kilometers and one that's 13 kilometers. Tyner turns into 15th Avenue. So we're carrying on down 15th Avenue towards downtown. And as you can see, this area has lots of car repair places. This is sort of more towards the north end of town. Sorry for the shaky video. I had my camera on my dashboard on a little clip and it wasn't super solid. But as you can see, there's some old buildings, lots of older homes in this area. Uh, but lots of newer homes in, in Prince George as well. So as we come down the hill here, you can see Value Village, there's Staples there, there's a movie theater, Wendy's, some hotels. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great downtown area. Now, it's not a downtown that you would expect like in Vancouver or even in Kelowna where you've got really high rises, but um, you know, two, three, four, five story buildings here and it's up and coming, let's just call it that. Prince George used to be a fur trading post in the early 1800s, and of course there was gold in those hills as well, so being so close to Barkerville, you can imagine. Now, the main industries are the service industry, medical, education, and forestry. And education is a huge focus in Prince George with 40 elementary schools, uh, eight secondary schools and eight private schools. And for post-secondary, there's the College of New Caledonia with programs from BCIT and the Open Learning Agency. And of course, there's the University of Northern British Columbia. Now this street downtown that we've been driving on is probably one of the best shopping streets available. So downtown, 
you know, they're still not quite there, but you can see the plan. It's coming. It's going to be an amazing place to hang out, to go for dinner, to go for coffees, to go shopping. It's just going to take a little more time, but they're on their way for sure. Okay, we're going to head down in a different direction now. We're heading south on Highway 97 and you'll be able to see more of what's sort of spread out around the city. It's kind of neat. They've sort of spread their shopping out around the city. So if you live in a different area, you've usually got some kind of shopping around you. It's not all in one area. So on the right hand side is the mall. We'll go to the mall next, uh, but I'll carry on through here and you can see where we're headed here. We're going to head up this highway. There's highways throughout the whole city, so it's really quick to get around. You can see there's hotels and tons of shopping on the right hand side. Let's just pull into this mall and have a quick look. Good Life Fitness, Bosley's, Superstore, Superstore Gas. Here we go, Tim Hortons. Sorry, I know it's quick, but I know you don't want to sit here all day and watch this. Costco is off to your right. There's a Best Buy. There's uh, all kinds of restaurants. Pretty much any restaurant you can think of is in Prince George. They're actually very well stocked with stores and restaurants and hotels. Now we've basically done a big loop around the city and we're coming back around towards um, another shopping area that is two kilometers from University Heights. I know because I walked here and there's some great shopping. There's a Walmart, there's a Canadian Tire, there's a Starbucks. And here we are back on the road and we're about to drive back into the neighborhood that we started out in. So we just literally did a big loop. And here we are back at University Heights where we started out. Now we're gonna head over to Pine Center Mall. I'm gonna give you a quick peek into the mall. As you can see, it's not small. There's lots of stores there. Lowe's isn't there anymore. They're gonna put something else in there. This is the food court area. And they've got Children's Place. And it's kind of weird because this was filmed during COVID times. So a lot of stores were, you know, limiting the people coming in. They looked closed. Um, yeah, so, you know, they've got the doors kind of halfway closed and stuff. So it's all good. We were still able to shop. They have everything like below the belt and roots and boathouse and Le Chateau. So if there's something you're looking for, they probably have it. And I thought it was a pretty decent mall. I kept saying, you know what? I could actually live here. I could shop here. So they just put in a brand new home sense and winners huge store actually long long hallways as you can see there's going to be something else coming in there so there's the website for you if you're interested in that i want to show you duchess park so this is right downtown it's near the hospital i think it backs on to one of the big high schools so it's a great play area a lot of fun for the kids some great play equipment that i've never seen before they had tennis courts and they also had, I'm gonna show you a little close up here of the kids play area a little more. Lots of free parking, which is great. A lot of little cute homes in this area too. So if you're looking for those old homes, you maybe wanna reno something, they had some cute stuff. There's also a dog park here. Lots of happy dogs in the fenced off area. And right beside it was this cool, bike area for kids so that middle part is for little kids and the outer section has this which i thought was very cool i didn't see any kids riding on this part of it maybe a little scary but it was very cool we also went to a place called zimaru park which was so beautiful it was right inside um, an older neighborhood which was really beautiful and there was just a sea of these purple flowers and you could just walk in amongst them so I said to you earlier, there was lots of restaurants. There are tons, the keg, the birch boar, like pretty much anything you could think of, like as, a, as far as a chain goes, they had it, but they also had some great places like the frozen paddle. You have to go here. It's um, just sort of across from Costco and they make their own ice cream and it's amazing. So I'm going to show you downtown. I want to show you this cool building that Prince George is known for. 
we're going to check out the Wood Innovation and Design Center. It's right downtown. A lot of people have mentioned it to me. So I had to drive by and have a look. It's the tallest contemporary wood building in North America. It's six stories plus the mechanical penthouse. It's really cool. You need to check it out. As we carry on downtown, you can see the Ramada there. There's actually a Starbucks in that Ramada. It's newly renovated, really nice. You're going to see a lot of buildings like this too downtown. Old historical buildings with stories to tell. And you're also going to see, I'm not sure if this is old or new, but um, there's some cool shops, like I said, downtown. I wanted to go check that one out. Um, new building as well, new construction. And... Uh, yeah, like it's quite an interesting city, definitely up and coming. I'm going to take you to another area. And my daughter said to make sure to include this in my video because this is an area called the heart. And it's about 15 minutes out of town. And as you can see along the way, lots of little um, businesses along the way. There's even a McDonald's there. And uh, we're going to turn in towards um, the residential area. So we go past the Kelly Road Secondary School. I can't get over how huge some of these schools are in this area. Like when I think, when I compare Prince George to other um, cities that I know of with about the same population, I'm really surprised actually with the size and the amount of schools that are in the area. So there's an elementary school just off to the right. And we're going to drive into one of the neighborhoods. And you're not gonna believe what's actually in the middle of this neighborhood. I'm not gonna tell you, we're gonna continue driving. As you can see, like everywhere you go in Prince George, you're like in the forest. You're like one foot in the forest and one foot in, in civilization. So there are bears, there are moose around, there are, yeah, it's all there. So um, just having a look at this neighborhood quickly, just showing you the styles of the houses that are available in the heart. So older houses, newer houses, another school, fire department. I promise you it's coming up just around the corner. Just hang on. Here we go. Here it comes. It's a ski hill. It's a ski hill in the middle of a subdivision. So it's kind of a cool place because it's really cheap to go skiing here. And I think there's four little runs and, you know, a little tea bar and yeah, it's great. It's like less than 20 bucks a day to go skiing. So as you can see, there was some grocery stores and restaurants and things there. And now we're headed back in to Prince George. Right downtown, you'll find the Via Rail Station and Surplus Herbie's, which my other son-in-law just told me was amazing. The Prince George Playhouse and some great churches. Lots and lots of great churches in this city. So once again, I'm back in University Heights and I'm on that beautiful walking trail. And as you can see, the other side of the street is like a full forest. And I am on this dedicated walking, running, cycling, horseback riding trail. And beautiful wildflowers on either side of the trail. And it's just gorgeous. Now I came, I actually walked over to the university, which was two kilometers and I stopped short. Um, and a lady just came running out of the bush and she said, don't go that way. There's a huge moose there. So I missed out on seeing the moose, which was okay with me. Um, but there are bears here and moose. So you definitely want to like, just be aware so lots of uh, new neighborhood developments that are going to be going into this area. As you can see, there's a bus going by. So it's definitely a bus friendly neighborhood. Um, if you're living in University Heights and going to university, you probably don't need a car, which is awesome because the bus service seems to be really, really good. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions about Prince George. Whether you're thinking of coming here for school or relocating here for work or whatever your reason, I hope I was able to show you some great parts of the city. I have been pleasantly surprised by what I've found over the last three visits that I've made here. So lots of active people, lots of families, great neighborhoods, 
lots of schooling options and opportunities. So thanks for watching Tina Girl Travels. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see my upcoming videos. I'll be posting one on the Prince George University and also one on the airport. And in my airport video, you'll get a chance to see what Prince George is like in the winter. So I'll see you next time on Tina Girl Travels. Yeah, yeah, yeah.